Hi, I'm Jeremy Schinder. Thank you for clicking this video. This is part two of my drum build, so if you haven't seen part one, definitely go back and check that out up there. But I've made it to do list and I've made it to buy list. And I think the obvious way to approach this build is to set goals and structures and set aside pricing for things that I need and find ways to do things that I don't need the cheapest way possible. Now, I'm not saying this is the only approach, but I'm saying it's the Jeremy Schindler method. My theater teacher at high school says one thing and one thing only. Rule number one, don't listen to Jeremy Schindler. And he's right. So, let me bring out my puppies and I'll we'll reassess. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the old Concert Tom mounting system from Sandy. The reason why is because even if I decide to ultimately keep her as a second floor Tom, which I won't, I don't like this old mounting approach. However, I will keep it and I will tighten it up and make it look better for Fred because it's a cost-effective way of mounting this as the OG mounting ones. So since these Ludwig drums are gorgeous, however they're old, I need to use a different type of approach to remove these old mounting systems from my 16 inch. Let's go into it. As you can see, this original mounting system is a little bit rusty and very, very dangerously loose. And I don't really like it. So the first thing I'm gonna do with this drum is remove it. Let's get into it. Like I mentioned, these were built on less than optimal conditions. So I spent 15 minutes trying to get this friggin' this small little drill bit. In actuality, I unscrewed these tiny, tiny little bolts with my bare hands. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna use this for. I can still mount something on here. I don't know, that'd be cool. Ooh, what if I could like mount the floor tom and a cymbal using this piece of crap. That's cool. That's another video idea. Anyways, let's continue in tightening the other one up. But before I do that, this gorgeous wrap is, like I mentioned, a little old. And the way it's holding on is a little faulty by pins hammered in. So I'm gonna just slightly hammer in the already existing pins and then I might put a few more in. Let me move on to tightening the other one. All right, there we go. Like I said on the other one, this gorgeous wrap is very prevalent, but it's still fading. And these pins are loose, so I'm just gonna slightly hammer them again. Well, after this popped off, I decided that I think I'm going to drill these back in here and keep them there as, I guess you could say, a protective adhesive to make sure the wrap stays on in the exact positions that I want it and it doesn't move around and screws me over. Remember, you gotta be very, very safe and careful when it comes to these. So don't do what I do, like, ever. So now that I've reinserted these two screws in different spots to keep this gorgeous wrap on this beautiful drum, I gotta clean up because there's a lot of schmutz all over the area. I want this place to look brand spanking and new. Also with the weather, very cold. It's around the 40s 
maybe even below 30s here in New Jersey. So I gotta bring everything inside, including the wood, the shells, uh, and the rims. I don't know if I talked about these rims yet. That might be a separate video. Each rim is a inch and a half bigger than the other one. So this one of my gorgeous 14, the rim is 15 and a half. So I gotta clean up and I'll see you soon. So though this video could be perceived as an epic letdown, I think that I made a lot of great progress. I finished re-securing the gorgeous wrapping of my 14 inch and I broke, I broke a, you know, a drill bit, but I, uh, whatever happens, happens. And we also removed this disgusting racking mount system from the 16 inch and maybe I could even convert this to hold a symbol on the same stand. So maybe, who knows, I could support the 14 inch and maybe another symbol using this. So ideas, ideas floating in my brain. But I've got a bunch of stuff to still do. I've got a bunch of stuff I still need to get. I need to get drum heads. I need to get new lugs to put on the bottom. I need to get new hoops. If I convert this into a bass drum, I need to decide if I want to get wooden hoops or if I'm okay with having the same metal hoops. I don't know yet, but stay tuned to find out. As always, you know what to do. Thank you for watching. Go back and watch the first video if you didn't already. Bye-bye.